Now we'll see the stroboscopic effect when both sides, when we have white tape on both sides of the propeller. We can see the stroboscopic effect and uh, we have RPM around 3000 and the white part is quite prominent. Now if I increase the RPM to 6000, the stroboscopic effect will be barely noticeable, the dark part will be very light. The dark part is very light, you will get to know the reason. You can see that the RPM is around 6000. If we have the propeller rotating at 3000 RPM, one rotation will be 20 milliseconds and if the full propeller is covered with white reflective tape on both sides, we will see a pattern like this. And the illuminated part will be brighter than before, than uh, when half only half propeller was covered with white reflective tape. This is because if we, uh, this is because the illuminated part gets illuminated twice. Now uh, consider the propeller to be in this position at t is equal to 0. Now the upper part with the black cross is this one and the lower red part is this one with the red circle. So when the propeller moves and the brightness increases above the threshold brightness and we are able to see the propeller, white tape reflects light and the propeller moves from this position to this position. So the black part illuminates this region, this region and the red part illuminates this region when the brightness is high enough for the propeller to be seen and then the brightness goes below the threshold brightness and the propeller is uh, seen to be uh, is not seen to be moving and it moves to this position and then the brightness increases above the threshold and we see the propeller moving from this position to this position so the black part now illuminates this part and the red part illuminates this part. So then again the uh, brightness decreases and we are not able to see the propeller and it returns to its original position. So the net result is that these parts are illuminated twice and they overlap to form the brighter, uh, brighter illuminated part and we see that image. If we have a propeller rotating at 6000 rpm, one rotation will be 10 milliseconds and the light would still be blinking at 100 hertz and one cycle would be 10 milliseconds. So the time that a propeller takes to complete one rotation, the time a propeller takes to complete one rotation will be same as the time taken by one cycle of light. So uh, if we assume that the propeller is in this position at t is equal to 0 when the light was uh, dim, the, uh, uh, in the time that the brightness increases above the threshold value, the propeller moves in this position and we continue to see the propeller in this time. So in that time the propeller moves from this position to this position. So we see that the black part, this black part illuminates the lower part of the circle and the red part and this red part this red part illuminates the upper part of the circle the uh, the propeller was in this position when we first saw it and then it moved to this position till the brightness was above the threshold brightness and then the propeller moved back to its original position after 10 milliseconds were completed so we see that the net net uh, image is that one the full circle is illuminated and these two parts are illuminated twice but the difference uh, in between the these uh, parts which are illuminated twice and this part which is illuminated only once is very less so the stroboscopic effect is very hard to see